You know, I could talk about E3, but something weird happened. There was some sort of announcement, I think, and then afterwards I completely blacked out. I just woke up to find my entire room is in a bigger state than it usually is. I just don't... That explains a lot. Let's be honest here, we all know that there's a lot of videos on YouTube that have a lot of sexual innuendo in them. And it shouldn't be a surprise when we find someone on the internet has made a sex joke. The reason why I bring this up is because there's a video on YouTube known as the 8 inch boat, which is basically a showing of a puzzle which is an obvious phallic symbol. And someone in the Rubik's community, and yes, it's an actual community, didn't seem to really like it that much. So I'm sure many of you have seen Oscar Van Davender's video about his 8-inch bolt. This is a response to that video, and is intended for mature audiences only. If you're young, I would highly recommend you get your parents to watch this video first. Oh, it's a good thing I got my mom to see it then. I think she said the video was shit though. Now, I have held Oscar in high regard over the last several years. Every time he uploaded a video, he just never ceased to amaze me. I always just felt dumbfounded every time he showed off one of his new puzzles. His brilliance even inspired me to upload a parody of him, one that Oscar said was a tribute to his work. This is why his video was very unexpected to see from him. I'm certainly not surprised to see anything like this generally from our culture, but to see it from such a respectable individual really shocked me. A person that I highly respected is making sexual innuendo? <gasps> yeah, the person he's talking about is a grown man. I think it's perfectly fine for him to talk about fucking. From what I've heard, sex is truly a beautiful and intimate experience. <laughs> yes, from what you heard, because there's no such thing as porn. I've really come to appreciate the value in it, not only by my actions, but by my words. To see someone I've held a lot of respect for devalue it by joking about it was really hard to take. You're so surprised that someone that you respect makes a sex joke which is devaluizing sex? Even if it is devaluizing, it's already been devaluized to death with all the sex jokes, sexual innuendo, and even sex itself on the internet. And there are people that I respect who screw around with sex jokes. I've really appreciated the Cuban community because we've come from different backgrounds to enjoy solving puzzles and get the fastest at it. It's really a shame to see someone so prominent bring a sexual slur into it. How could someone bring something like that into our community? Uh, I feel so dirty. And I really feel silly having to remind everyone about this, but impressionable kids are active in the community. That should be reason alone to refrain from anything like this. Now this comment here, which was left on the original video, pretty much sums up what I think about the whole situation. And sir, for this lovely comment, I love you, and I want to have your babies. In my view of it, the only way this could be considered sexual innuendo is if the person watches it considers it sexual innuendo. The only way that the child could see it as sexual innuendo is if they know about sexual innuendo, or sex to that matter. For these reasons, I have decided to remove my parody honoring Oscar's work. I no longer wish to show any appreciation for him. So someone makes a sex joke and you completely lose your respect for him. This just goes to show that you really need to grow a pair. If any of you are sympathetic with me, I would encourage you to go to his video and flag it for suggestive sexual content. This will, in the very least, age restrict the video. Wow. This goes to show that you're so offended to the fact that you found out that your messiah is actually a human being. Now I know you guys are thinking I'm making a big deal out of nothing. I know it was just Oscar's intent to have good fun. I know it was just a joke. But would any of you be laughing if the puzzle was, say, depicting a burnt US flag? Really? You're going to compare sex jokes to the burning of flags? Why not stop there? Let's compare it to the Holocaust or 9-11 or some other big disaster because there's no limit to how stupid this argument can actually be! Sure, a flag is just a piece of cloth. Sure, it may be all in good fun. Sure, it may be just a joke. But it's really a symbol for our freedom that resulted from the immense shed of blood, sweat, and tears from our past heroes. Yes, the flag represents freedom. And you know what part of that freedom is? To make jokes about fucking like animals. But here you are trying to censor someone because you saw sexual innuendo in it. I hold sex in a very similar regard. Yes, sex is so pure and sacred and no one should make fun of it. 
By the way, it's me and Jen are holding our annual sex orgy every Sunday. Now, I also understand that this will bring new viewers to Oscar's channel, and even a decent profit for him, but I don't see how the ends are justifying the means here. Oscar, it would really mean so much to me if you would reconsider letting the public view this. Just because you don't like it and you want to whine about it doesn't mean that he's going to take it down. He has the right to keep it up because that's his freedom to do so. Now, I already know what you guys have to say in response to this video. It's not like I've been living under a rock my whole life. But that's why I have disabled comments and ratings on this video. I don't want people to point me out for my bullshit. That's why I'm going to disable my comments and hide. It's a good thing that no one makes videos pointing people out on their bullshit. Joke of the week. You know, I would say a sex joke to end this video, but to be honest, it's hard to come up with and I feel royally screwed. With that being said, this is Elder Entertainment. And... Um, end.